I mean, I have a lot of questions, but I think uh, the audience must be having a lot of questions also. So. Well, first of all, let me say, I, what an apt time to have this film, but uh, also it leaves you very sad because I think what comes across is the hope that was there in all these volunteers and, uh, you know, it represents the hope that there is still in this country that there should be a change and then how it just falls flat um, when you actually enter the murky business of politics. But the thing I wanted to ask you is about gender actually because um, the Aam Aadmi Party was really an Aadmi Party, you know, from what you saw and uh, there were a few women and did you get that sense also when you went around with them? It is so overwhelming to male, though even though that Congress procession, okay, they said they were paid, but at least you saw women and girls, but you didn't see them at all in the campaigning in the Aam Aadmi Party. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There were, there were, there were a few women <coughs> and um, of course here it's an irony that happens I mean, there's a particular kind of intersection of gender and class that happens in this campaign. There are two very strong women in this campaign, and they're, they're Shazia and Anjana. And actually, both of them, um, you know, are, end up being not very popular with the Ahmad girls here, for different reasons, perhaps. But I do want to say that it's a, it's a, uh, it's a very, very gendered space, and not very favorable to women. I mean, I'll give you one instance that uh, you have to read the lines a little bit, but I'll give you a context. I mean, you know, there's a scene where this external review committee yeah. meeting yeah. happens, yeah. and this guy just he's telling the external reviewer, he's just saying that someone spoke to me badly, and I've been humiliated, and you know, everyone's oh, what happened. And yeah. He's referring to Shazia. Mm -hmm. Now, the background actually is that um, this guy had apparently, uh, I mean, he'd been making money off the campaign, and she had pulled him up. And, you know, given, given, given him a dressing down. There was no sense of uh, really, it seems it was just the sympathy was with him. And she was later reprimanded, you know, because it went straight to the center and then she got a call and she was extremely upset about this. You know, she was, I mean, uh, so it's, that's one little instance, but where I, I felt that you know, it's not a wonderful space for women. You know. And this is also this. I was it? I think Mukul Keswan says something about it being like a, something like a lounge at the airport for politically ambitious women and then they just move on. So. But Anjana Mehta, you know, comes out very differently. I mean, her space doesn't seem to be very gendered in that sense. Yeah. So, any comments on her as well? Because uh, I, I know her from that time, so to see her in this role and, and like this and actually losing sight of uh, of what the workers are feeling, the party worker, the people who are working on the ground, that that was very very disappointing. So, would you like to talk? I mean, as to what what did you feel about that? You know, my feeling about her is that I, I think I think she is as with each and every individual in this campaign, they really had their strengths. They were good at some things, but uh, you know, she is just brought in then to be the campaign manager, and maybe she maybe her skills were with training of volunteers. You know. And while she was very good at looking at the big picture through, you know, looking at laptops and, you know, database management and stuff, maybe she wasn't so good with actually with human resource development, if you like, or working with the Amar News, you know. So I wish they just all been able to work together on this, because that's wishful thinking. Yeah. 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 Yeah.